That's another nice bass, Liam. <laughs> he starts going, fish, fish, fish. <laughs> and hold them tight so you don't drop them on the rock because we don't want to hurt them. Hold them tight. Here. Don't try not to give that one a concussion. He's going to shake. You got to hold them tight. Yeah. Liam, that's, oh, good Lord. Yeah. Oh. Remember to hold them tight if you're going over those rocks. We're learning today. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Welcome back. It is cooling off in Illinois. The leaves are changing colors. It's in the 50s. It's in the 50s. That's not good. The water temperatures are dropping. The bite is getting tough. I am gonna go out fishing this afternoon. But today we're gonna to talk about how to help your kids catch more fish. We've done some other videos this year on not making it too easy. Don't just give them a handout. But we should, as parents, be looking for places where our kids can succeed with baits that are a little bit more advanced than bobbers. And that's what I'm gonna show in this video. I also got some really cool mail here that I wanted to open with you. Somebody sent this in. I'm just kidding, I bought it. Nobody sends me anything. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. I open it with my muscles. Would you look at that? Look at there, Elmo. I'm gonna have to wear this in some videos. So as you guys know, I have two goals on this channel. One is to get better at fishing for both myself and my kids. The other thing is to grow this channel to a size where I have an opportunity to fish with Richard Gene, the fishing machine. I'd like to fish shiners for bass. That's, that's my goal. This is the man right here. That's the man and I'm proud to put your face on a shirt that I'm gonna wear, good sir. Look at there, Elmo! God bless you and your family. As always, happy Thursday. God bless America. Let's fish. Thursday night fishing. <laughs> For today's rig rundown, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. We're using a custom-built Phoenix rod with a loose speed spin spooled up with eight pound fluorocarbon. I'm tying straight to a jig with a Palomar knot. I'm also gonna throw a rattle trap for a little bit on a Bass Pro Extreme bait casting rod with a matching reel. I was spooled up with 14 pound test fluorocarbon, which I have since ripped off. It was a pain to cast. I didn't like it. I've switched to braid and all my bait casters. If I need fluorocarbon, I just put a fluorocarbon leader on the front. My son is using a Bass Pro Tourney Special rod paired with a Tourney Special spinning reel. This was, I believe, a $55, $60 combo from Bass Pro. It's great. We spooled it up with braid. I threw a fluorocarbon leader on it. He was good the entire day. Morning. Good morning. You ready to catch fish? Mm-hmm. You ready to catch two fish? Yeah. That would be more than your brother's caught. Are you awake yet? No, no. Yeah, one out still sleeping. So you have your breakfast and I'll have my java and then we'll go, yeah? Yep. <laughs> Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Well, what's up, my dudes and my dudettes? Good morning. It's another day. We're gonna go fish another lake. <laughs> We're gonna fish hula sticks and Ned rigs and rattle traps. So all baits with exposed hooks, because I think that's gonna help him hook up with fish. But it's gonna be easier to fish than that other lake. Ooh, I got a fish. Dang it, it's just a chunk of muck. <laughs> Dang it, it's just a chunk of muck. You ready to catch some fish? Yep. All right, let's do it. Love you. Love you. All right. All right, you ready to kick some butt? Yep. All right, kick some fish butt. Man, if you catch a fish, you can fish and just punch it in the face like okay. you said. No, I don't want to punch it in the face. I need to go catch a fish so I can punch him in the face. I'm just kidding, you're safe with me. Let's go right here. Watch out for goose poop. Don't hook the geese. Ready? I'm gonna get mine ready too. Somebody's yelling like a moron. Scoot down a little bit. And then you're just gonna cast straight out. Pinch your line, you already got it. There you go. Now close your bail. Nice cast, that's perfect. Are there? Yep, I just missed a fish. Good job. That was a great cast. You see these fish flopping over here? That was weird. What are they doing? Here, come over here. Cast out in this direction. There's all kinds of fish, big and small, jumping around over here. So just cast right out into the geese. They'll move and work it back towards you, okay? What if my hook one? You won't, you won't. There you go, that's good. There's like four fish jumping around in there, so there you go. <laughs> That's good. Focus on the fish, not the geese. Like that. 
I got a fish, but he's coming right towards me. There we go. You want to hold them? That was fast. That was fast. They're, they're all over this size in here. You want me to hold them? Sure. Hope I don't get bashed on again. Well, I almost you might. splashed them. Just a little, a nice little fish. Where do I hold them? Here? Like this. And hold them tight so you don't drop them on the rocks, okay? Because we don't want to hurt them. Yep. There he goes. Good job. Now let's get you one, okay? See that? That was a big fish. I don't know what that was. Move your bait, bud. Just kind of hop it and then reel your line up a little bit. I caught sharks when we went to the ocean. Little sharks, yeah. Little sharks on jigs. That's where I saw a guy hook into a nice bass last time. That's why we're starting here. <laughs> That's a nice bass. And I caught one that was five pounds, 44 ounces and 22 inches long. Wow. There you go, good cast. Hold your rod tip up and reel a little line up and hop it. Look at that big old carp or catfish or whatever it was. That was huge. You got one? Okay, hold your, okay, slow down. Put your rod tip straight up. Put your rod tip straight up. <laughs> fish, fish. That's a nice fish. Put your rod tip up. Rod tip up. Slow down, stop reeling. Put your rod tip up and let him calm down. You're fine, take your time. Liam, that's a nice bass, dude. Oh my gosh. He's gonna, he's gonna jump. Do you feel, you hear that drag going? There's another fish with him too. Oh. Okay, don't put too much pressure on him. Relax, relax, don't reel anymore, don't reel anymore. <laughs> Second day. Okay, shh. Oh, Liam. Yes, dude. That's a Look good at that fish. fish. That's a two pounder. That's Liam, <laughs> look at that. Second day fish. Oh my gosh. Okay, reel up your loose line, please. That thing is huge. That is, that is such a nice. I just sat in the water and boom. I am so happy for you right now. You gotta show mom this. Catch is great. Whoa. That's all him. Job. He did good. So what is it? It's a largemouth bass. bass? Okay. Yeah. That's probably one of the bigger ones I've ever seen come out of here. Yeah. So that's not, I'm glad he caught it and not me. <laughs> you're going to be a great fisherman? Maybe when I grow up. Yeah, it looks like you're doing it already. Let's come back over here, okay? Let me get the, <laughs> let me get the gunk off his face. I can't believe I actually caught this. Liam, thing. that is such a nice fish. And you're going to hold him like that, okay? He's going to shake. You got to hold him tight. That's what I'm saying. Get your thumb in there, because we don't want to hurt him. <laughs> I can't believe it. He's heavy, huh? That's over a two pound fish, Liam, easy. Uh oh, here comes the rain, too. We're fine, we're right by the truck. There you go. Oh. There he goes. High five, one. dude. That was awesome. And you got the I bass got a thumb? wee bit of bass thumb a little bit. <laughs> Let's check your line, because you got braid to fluorocarbon. There's a, something else jumping over here. Okay, your line's a little scuffed up, but it's fine. Great job, buddy. Let's get another one. It's only been five minutes. You're excited? Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> he starts going, fish, fish, fish. <laughs> really heavy? Whoop. No, I had a little tap. I was trying to set it away from you. Sometimes, a lot of times I set my hook to the left. Good cast. Oh, I just got an fish. Set the hook, man, lift it up. Did you lose him or is he on there? Reel up your line. Is he off? Rod tip up. Okay, rod tip up. He's pulling drag. Take your time. Don't reel, don't reel, don't reel. Put your rod tip up and let him tire himself out. That's another nice fish, Liam. All right, he's okay. Oh! Did you see that? You got the magic bait this morning. When he's making your rod go thump, 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 and he's pulling drag out, just chill out. Okay? Let him tire himself out. Let the rod do the work. And then when he, slow, when he slows down, you can reel him in a little bit at a time, okay? You're like master fisherman this morning. What the heck? There he is. He's going over towards the rocks. Lift him up a little bit. It's okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, don't pull anymore. I'm going to get him. That's another nice fish. Reel up your line, please. 
You got that's, him right in the corner of the mouth. Is that just a bass? That's a largemouth bass, yep. Yeah, Reel up your line. Like hey, 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 don't start getting cocky. Don't start getting cocky, because as soon as you say it's easy, you won't catch any more the rest of the day. How about it's fun? It's fun, absolutely. You can say that all day long. Wow. Oh, ow. Sorry. I just, you're okay. That was my fault. <laughs> Same deal. Get your thumb in there and hold them tight. Got him? There's another one jumping out there. They're in here right now eating. Hi, bud. Good job. Bass them. Yep. Bass them. <laughs> Bass them. <laughs> You're doing so good, buddy. I'm so proud of you. And thank you. And I'm glad that you are teaching me how to fish. Are you? Well, you're going to make me cry. Why? Well, you'll understand when you're a daddy. See, now what's going to be good is as you get better at this, as we fish more. You got another one? Oh my gosh. That's another nice bass, Liam. Dude. That's another nice bass, Liam. I'm going to switch it up. Oh my gosh. Slow down. Slow down. Don't get cocky. Slow down and don't get cocky. Just take your time with them. Hey, bring him towards me. Where's he at? He's out there pulling drag. You got another one right in the corner of the mouth, Liam. You are absolutely tearing it up. It's a great fish. Let's go ahead and release them. These fish are big. They are nice fish. Quit doing that with your hand. Hey, stop for a sec. Hold them like this, okay? Yeah, don't be doing this thing. Like this, like you're making a fist. Okay? Yeah. Yep, yep, there he goes. Okay, high five. See if I can catch him. That's one. three. Let's get you re-rigged. You want me to get you one? <laughs> I'll get one at some point. Ooh, I finally got another fish. That's a little bit better. That'd be good to look. He's running sideways. That's a better fish. He's coming up. He's coming up. Oh. That guy's good. Yeah, he's not a duck. Oh. You're, you're definitely getting the... I don't think there's any pike in here, bud. How do you guys even catch them? Oh, 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 hang on, I'm on your line. Okay, there's two dinks on the Ned. Okay, the big man's still spanking me. I got a, I got a nice, nicer one, finally. I'm not gonna switch it up to the rattle trap yet, but I will soon. That's two littler ones on the Ned and three on the hula stick so far. Good job, man. Get another cast out there, buddy. See you later, buddy. There's a fish right there. Go yeah. cast right at it or I will. You got it? It's nice to catch one or two on the rattle trap. That's something I have very little confidence in. I just have not had good luck with it over the years. Except for pike. Did you see that in my hand? They're just talking, I guess. Quack, 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 quack. Can you see in my in my glasses? Put these on real quick. Look down here in the water. Do you see all? There's like thousands of little fish. See them right here. Do you see them? Oh yeah. They're, small. They're very small. Pretty cool, huh? I want to try to see if I can see any bass. Isn't that cool? Will the bass stay out a little deeper? Yeah. Couple, couple little guys. Yeah, he got a couple. That's what I'm happy about. That. That's the truth, buddy. I'm very proud of you. Last time we fished for over two hours, without a bite. Came back, tried again. Within 15 minutes, we had five fish. One was over two pounds. He's not gonna forget this. I love you, bud. I'm so proud of you. It's a big part of why I want to get better at fishing is to help them find fish before their little attention spans run out. Because if I can do that, I know I can plant the seed. But if we go out and we get skunked 150 times, eh, it's not so much the case. There you go. Work that one back. And if you catch, we'll stay. And if you don't, we'll move. Watch out for all the crap. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that I have to clean our shoes off. Minnow profile on a jig head. Blue to dark green. That one. Do you put your rod tip up, man? Okay, lift your. Yeah, lift your rod tip up. Well, you didn't catch him yet, so settle down. <laughs> he's he's a smaller bass. So I like his blue face. That's cute. 
Go ahead and set your rod down and let's get a little picture with this guy. Hold him tight, he's gonna flop. Oh, he's bleeding. So, you know what? He's tiny, you got some good pictures with the other ones. Go ahead and let's toss him back. Sorry, bud. He's, he'll be okay. He, he'll be fine. I didn't get one. Okay. You got four. Dang, man. Let's get actually, this is actually. I was gonna say let's change it up, but let's let's keep working over here and see what we get. Fishing is hard. Fishing is it's work. Yeah, I mean it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And when, good exercise. It's some exercise, not a lot. It's good to get out and get fresh air and do stuff outside and not just be not be a couch boy, right? But you know what's cool? The fish don't give you a participation award. You only catch fish if you put in the work. But when you catch one, like you caught this morning. Isn't that worth it? You fished with me for two hours the other day with no fish. And then today you showed up and you caught three great fish within 20 minutes. But that's because you came and you put in the work and you worked hard. Other people that don't do that, other people that feel sorry for themselves and sit around all day, they don't get to experience stuff like that. Hey, there's a lost bait. Where? Oh yeah. You wanna keep it? Yeah, that looks cool. Somebody's crankbait. Plus we have the added benefit of getting somebody's line out of the water. That's cool. Somebody broke their braid off somehow. I don't know how they did that. I can't probably, you know why? Because it probably got down in the rocks. That's why. Careful, because I got... Now I have four treble hooks on this pole. That's like a deadly weapon. Yeah, I got something. Oh, dang, it's a V. Not a big guy, but not bad. Get out of that. Get out of that, bud. Get out of there. That's a nice little bass. Can you get yours in without... See where your line's at? There you go. Good job. Look. I don't know where I hooked him, but I got a whole bunch of muck. Holy muck city. Okay, we got another one down by the deck. The big guy. He's it mouthing off. Awesome. It was awesome. You were mouthing off. You are like, that's just a medium one. <laughs> It's a medium, small, big. I like medium, it's small, medium. big would be like this big. He's still got the big fish of the day. Do you want to put him back or sure. do you want me to? I'll Get a good grip because you're on. there's rocks over here. I don't want you to hurt him. Liam, that's, oh, good Lord. Oh boy. Get him out of that muck. There he goes. He went on his own. Now he's got a little blunt force trauma, but he'll live. You see what I mean? You gotta hold him tight. Yeah. Gotta hold him tight. Thanks Wait. for your help, though. Plus, he almost killed himself. Yeah, he did almost. Well, you helped him almost kill himself. You were a, an accomplice. I love fishing. You love fishing? I love it, too, and I'm... Catch some pike for dinner when we go up to Wisconsin. Yeah, we will catch some pike for dinner in Wisconsin. So tomorrow's Father's Day? I think today's Father's Day, isn't it? I don't even know. Who cares? I'm just hanging out with you. That's all I care about. Mm -hmm. There's something. All right, I got number four. I'm coming for you. He's gonna stab me. It's a little dink. <laughs> We're doing okay, that's number eight. Four to four, but this is the smallest fish of the day. I just won the smallest fish award. Now you get one. Put him down in the water. Now we gotta walk him around. I mean, we could try to lift him. Well, I don't want your line to break, ready? You ready to grab him? Ugh. Get your finger in his mouth, quick. Squeeze it good, because he's got a jig in there. Hold it tight, good job. Is it a one pounder? That's that's probably a little over a pound, yep. Okay, now you're definitely beating me again. This is number- Five fish. Number five? Okay, be gentle with them. Remember to hold them tight if you're going over those rocks. We're learning today. Get him out in there. Good job. That's five. That's five. Where'd you catch him at? Just out front? Yes, I caught him. I cast it right here and I just caught him. It's a flathead? No, flathead oh. turtle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that turtle, Liam. I bet Kayla would like to see that. I bet that's a, they got him right in the arm, I think. Yeah, one leg in the back. You want me to hold your pole or anything? Or are you good? Okay. I snagged him. <laughs> He's a big turtle. 
some of them are, I think this is a box turtle, but the painted ones, they got all the pretty art on the thing. Yeah. You, you see wanna, do you hold, see? You wanna hold him? Or? You wanna hold him? Sure. You wanna hold him? Won't roll them out very far, they don't bite very hard. Look at that. Snappers do, but then when you put them down on the ground, when they get ready to go, they go 100 mile an hour, right? Do they? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought you had a big old catfish or something. I was like, we gotta go check this out. We're just fishing little worms for bass and stuff, you know. I'm using shrimp today. Oh, really? But uh, I'm after catfish. But these things, they just tighten the line up and then let it go. Oh yeah. Tighten the line up and let it go. They don't take it and run. Yeah. So don't get too close or he bites you in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> like flip him over, put him on his belly, and see if he scoots out of here. I don't know if he will or not. Sometimes they'll they'll stay still for a while. And, then all of a sudden you hear something and they're cracking. <laughs> and I, I was out on my scooter looking for turtles off the bridges and stuff. Here was about a 14 pounder down there. Now it's... That's funny. All right, say thanks, buddy. Thanks. Thanks for showing us your turtle. Take care. <laughs> Let's go get you one more bass or so and then we'll head back, okay? I like fishing too, but we got to go get some, some beef jerky. Yeah, I can try one on the way home. Uh, you can try one when we get home. We're gonna let mommy have first crack at it. Really? Yeah, two. Ooh, that one? Little guy. Ooh. Just a little guy. Five to five. You want to hold him? Wolf that down. Uh, the, yeah, he's... Here's a minner's fish. Yeah. Not... Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that is my fault. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's trouble. There's trouble. You got that right on both counts. Good morning. I've been fishing at Kishwaukee back there. Have you been back there? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Any there? luck? A few hits, but I thought, you know what, I don't know. Look what this guy caught this morning. Holy cow! Over, over, over two serious? pounds this morning. Serious. So yeah, we we got here oh at like God. probably like seven thirty. Oh, you were here early, bird. That's a, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen anybody uh, anybody here? catching I, here. And, and you caught it on that thing. Uh, but you know what? There's bigger ones in there too. We can fish fish the exposed hook like that. Yeah. And then this is just it's called a hula stick. It's yeah. just a little plastic worm. And the other guy was giving me a. Oh really? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you got another one? Okay. Don't horse him out, buddy. You got light line. If I had a net, I'd get the net. He's kind of big. He is kind of big. You want me to try to lift him out? You are quite the fisherman. Do you want me to try to lift him or no? Well, hang on. Get ready. I don't want him to pop off. Yay. That was hard. There you go. Oh, I witnessed it myself. <laughs> I don't believe it. You want to know a secret, though? Every time Leslie comes around, I catch fish, or somebody catches fish. It just, no way. It just, every time. <laughs> the other day she came and got me, we pulled a three pounder out. Oh my god, you got that stuff. Oh my goodness. That's a nice one. Gorgeous. She called it. Do you want a picture of that one, or you just want to let him go? I'll take a picture. Your sixth? Yep. Man, you're having a good day. I guess. You want to just let him go? Just toss him right here. We don't have to go around. Yeah. Don't try not to give that one a concussion. Yeah. Quickly, man. There you go. Hey. <laughs> Thank you. Well, he's already gone. That's a good sign. Good work. It was like right here next to the dock. Right there. Was it really? Yes, it was like right next to the dock. Okay. Make oh, another. Please. Make another cast, buddy. High five. Good job. That was cool. I need it. Huh? We haven't tried fishing over here. There's a little one. Come cast out kitty corner. Like right out here, there's, uh, uh, there's a bunch. Yeah, it's just a little guy, but I saw like four swimming with him. Just a little guy. Little dude. Six to six, buddy. <laughs> so that would be 12? 12 total, yeah. All right, let's get a bait ready and give it to Leslie. 
Do you want to try one of these? This is, is what we caught the most fish on this morning. Not, okay, very similar to that, yeah. So that's these, Yum Dinger, that's a good one. Got so much crap in here. I didn't know what to grab, I don't know what to take. I'm not a bass fisherman, man. It's okay, <laughs> I, think you're gonna, I think you're gonna learn. Uh, oh, you got a frog too? Yes, I got that the other day. It hasn't touched the water yet. Okay. I'm standing there thinking, okay, there's 27 kinds of freaking frogs. But I don't know what to pick up. <laughs> yeah, they don't make it easy. But it's just like if somebody would sit here, fish with this, that, that'd be perfect. Let's, is it okay? Yeah, if it's whatever, okay with you, let's you let's think. tie one of those on and then come on, we'll go down there, see where that guy's at. Hopefully he leaves soon. We caught like eight in there this morning. That's where we caught most of our fish. Whatever you think. I mean, I truly have no idea what I'm doing. We were always in Wisconsin when we were kids. My grandpa had a place, and so I never thought it was like a special thing because yeah, it was yeah. just always. You did it all the time. Yep. And then, then we stopped. He sold the place. And we stopped going for like ten years. And then after college, I was like, kind of want to get back into this whole fishing thing. What is what is this? You know, ten years later, it's like I I absolutely love it. But for the longest time, I made excuses, and I was like, Illinois sucks. We don't have any fish, but it's just it's just way way different. Okay, so we got that. It's a good presentation for the kids too because they get to practice with the jig and it's literally, all we're doing is like raising it up and letting it fall and raising it up and letting it fall and they just, I tried a bunch of different sizes and colors and stuff and that's that's the deal so far. He did good today, wow. Yeah, he really did. Yes. He's gonna be bragging to his brother so hard. He's beating them six fish to one, so. <laughs> Well, I got another 20 minutes here. I'll see what I catch. All right, if you catch something, shoot us a four pounder. You'll get a picture. shoot us a picture or something. Even if you don't catch a four pounder, I, wanna, I just want to know if that works for you because okay. it's gonna get bit. I'm gonna keep trying. Have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, see, you see ya. The big man stomped me today. We both caught six fish, but you had the biggest fish for sure, huh? Yep. That one was over two pounds easy, and then you had two more that were pushing two. Not too shabby. So how many fish so far do you have this year? Uh, six. Six. How many does your brother have? Mm, one. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much for going fishing with me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's go fishing next time. You want to do it again? Yep. Awesome. I can't wait. That's what it's all about. I've been trying to get better so that I can help them get on fish faster. Today was a really good day. That's a lot more fun than pulling up muck for two hours. So you did great today. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Thank you guys for hanging out. Hey, we'll see you in the next one. Let's get better.